Hi, Dave Soriano, Kent Professor of Pitt Bradford, Western PA, USA. Uh, as part of my uh, fuels, Introduction to Fuels course, we work on various aspects of fuels, and I like to show students this simple earth battery. You can see right now we're drawing from this device 3.2322 volts. Okay, what you do, you get an empty ice cube tray, fill it with potting soil, pretty cold out there and buried with snow so I don't think we're going to get it easily out of the ground so I went to the hardware store picked up a bag of potting soil um, pat it in to each cell make sure it's wet not mud but not dry make sure it's wet or you won't be able to conduct the electricity current and what you do is you get a handful of these screws galvanized screws and wrap copper wire around each of the screws about three inches this gauge is fine and tuck each screw in a cell we're going to hook them up in series so you have a screw in the soil and then you've got copper wire in the adjacent cell then another screw the copper wire in the dirt go all the way around I'm not using the inner rack only the perimeter and then go across and then bring it back around so it's head to tail they're hooked up in series to increase the voltage and then uh, in the one section with an alligator clip I've got an attachment to a screw by itself and then a U2 piece of wire take the same gauge wire or a little thicker wrap it up in the shape of a U and shove it in the dirt and uh, we're at 3.20 uh, now I guess uh, you could easily use the inner cell as well but uh, what I'm doing is uh, planning on setting up two of these ice cube trays hook them up in series get six volts and the three by five uh, solar panels that can charge up double AA, A triple A batteries uh, they run about five volts so if you get yourself six volts you should be able to charge up double uh, AA, A triple A batteries this way the soil potential drops the voltage drops add a little moisture a little water bring the uh, potential back up so there you have it an earth battery and uh, one other thing over here we have a little DC motor running and uh, we have that hooked up that's about 3 volt DC we have that hooked up to a, a little device holding some uh, AA batteries I think there's uh, I think there's two or three in there this device and uh, we're working with zinc air aluminum air batteries and uh, part of our study will be to uh, hook them up to these small uh, DC motors and uh, get the voltage potential the power output in comparison to commercial batteries we use uh, uh, deep eutectic they call them ionic liquids but it's really deep eutectic liquids that are to non-toxic uh, renewables having very good luck on it so hope you watch our other films as we do our conduct our research and upload uh, our videos thanks for watching bye now